Hello and welcome along to another episode of this Cricket 19 career with me, Daniel. It's episode 15 and today we're back for a short form game as we chase a total in a 50 over match, hoping to continue our consistent start to the season and edge ever closer to county selection. We're getting close to that call up from Yorkshire to play alongside the likes of Joe Root and Johnny Bairstow, who are obviously currently featuring in the Ashes in real life. So fingers crossed that's not far away, but we've got to keep getting the scores to do so. So we're going to have a quick look at the scorecard in a minute to show you the position this game's currently in and the total we've got to chase today in this 50 over match. We'll also obviously show you how we did with the ball as we did get a few overs in that one again. We have had three or four matches off camera. At the end I'll go and show you a couple in a bit of detail just so you can see the scorecards from them and how we got on. But there's been a little bit of a mixed bag to be honest. In the long form of the game we did get our first three wicket haul. We also had a game where we got 90 in the first innings and then managed to get out for a duck in the second so it's all happened since the last one and we're still a little bit inconsistent for the county but let's go and have a look at this scorecard a massive thank you to everyone that continues to follow the series I really do appreciate your support with it and can't thank you enough for giving it a try the same goes for the Ashes Test playthrough beforehand the numbers on that one are absolutely staggering for me I really am so appreciative of everyone that's watched so a massive thank you to all of you but you can see we're back for the first ball of our innings as we chase our total in a 50 over match. It's the second innings after Oldham posted 212 and there's your evidence of our three wicket haul. Three for 17 against Oldham. I think we did get our full 10 overs in the end. We did four maidens out of the 10 overs and we managed to get an economy of 1.7. Again it's very unrealistic at this level. The 50 over cricket is something a bit different. The other two seem to be quite realistic but I've really struggled to get it right with this one. Far too economical and not many wickets before this match but we certainly made up for it here with our three. So that's helped get Oldham out for a lower score than usual and it means we've got a really chaseable target. 212, just over 100 for each batsman and that would take us to the hall. Of course in our short career we have had a few innings between 70 and 90 and in one of the 50 over matches earlier this season we did get out agonisingly for 97 so maybe we can address that wrong today. As usual because because the run rate we're chasing is only just over four and over, it doesn't require us to be quite as attacking as normal, so we are going to leave a few outside off stump, not take too many risks with a shorter ball. We are improving all the time, but I don't want to take any unnecessary risks. So you probably won't see every ball from the innings, but I'll be commentating as I play along, and then we'll come back with extended highlights after, hopefully with many run scoring shots. Obviously we could get out for one or two at this rate, and all of that will become completely irrelevant, but I'm off to play this match and commentate and you'll hear a bit of my voice as we go through the innings. Okay, first ball of the innings, always the hardest one to survive. They've left us our favourite space on the leg side, but it's a short ball outside off stump. So that's an example of what we're going to do throughout the innings. We're just going to leave at the shots that we don't need to play. We've only got to get just over four and over, and I'm sure Crompton will help us towards that. This one's closer to the stumps though, so we do go for our favourite spot, but it's cut off by the fielder as we start our run quickly, so we're forced to scamper back to avoid the run out. Not off two balls, not the best start. Hopefully we'll get one we can get away now he's still bowling outside off stump which does make it a little bit more difficult the short balls in the first half and over have really caused us a little bit of trouble two balls remain in this over and it's almost been like test cricket playing out a maiden but we do manage to get one there a pretty streaky run down to the man at square but in the end we get a single with a fifth ball of the innings and we get off the strike and get off the mark Five without loss as Crompton hits a four off the final ball of the over. That keeps us above the required run rate. Again, spent plenty of space on the leg side and that one's a much better shot. Right in our comfort zone and we'll get an easy two. Didn't quite get that full connection on it, but the man's too fine and he has to come round on the boundary and it lets us ease back for a second. Just two left in the over and they've still got a couple of slips in, so I'm not confident playing my normal shot to third man in the short form. We are going to leave it for now, but once we get to four or five, overs we will start to attack a bit more they've covered that third man gap now but left plenty of space on the leg side and the delivery surely going to help us here as we swing at another short one and miss it completely a really streaky start to the innings for us and with two overs gone leads a seven without loss mostly thanks to Crompton as he gets another four now and we're back on strike having got just three off 11 the first ball of McFarlane's over is he going to give us something we can get to the leg side he doesn't but we try to anyway and again 
again we risk losing our wicket like that. 3.1 overs gone, leads 11 without loss. McFarlane charges in again, there's plenty of space on that leg side, we've just got to pick the right ball to play at, and that's the one, I'm not sure if we've got enough on it for the boundary, but the fielder looks to be pretty slow, and it beats him there, he's four runs in our first of the innings, we move on to seven, and we finally got a boundary. Two balls left in the over, no pressure after that early boundary, a short ball which we try to pull away, and again we're swinging at thin air, so much ferocity into that swing, and it doesn't really mean anything as we're nowhere near the ball. I guess that means we can't get out, as the last one's flicked to the leg side, but we find the fielder rather than the gap, and we have to scamper back to avoid another run out chance. Not the best over again, just the four runs off that boundary. Penultimate ball of the over and he's on for another maiden McFarlane. I'm starting to get frustrated but I'm not willing to take the risk. We flick one off for a single there. I think he hit back before pad. They go up and appeal but the umpire shouldn't give it. We suggest it definitely was back first. At least we stopped McFarlane getting two maidens in a row. And now we've got the spinner coming in. Hopefully we won't have to face him too much. First ball against the spinner then, not in good form with 8 for 28, but we managed to get that down to the man at straight off, and that's going to be an easy single to start. Good to get ourselves off the strike against the spinner, and just to start adding some runs to the total. Crompton staying in and going along well, long may that continue. As I say that, we're back as Crompton loses his wicket. We're coming in to face the next ball. Doherty seen out three dot balls, and now we've got a left arm spinner to face. Here's one I'm really worried about, as he seen swing can catch us out with off stump. We saw what Moen Ali did against Nathan Lyon in a test match. I know that he's a right hander, but it's a similar situation in this one, as I just don't know how to defend it. That one's gone beautifully down the ground, though. Is the man on the boundary going to get around? He hasn't. It's gone for four. It went inside the bowler, between the bowler and the stumps, it's a fantastic straight drive. That is one of the best shots we've played in our career, and we get four runs as our reward for it. There's that space down the ground again for a four, or a single to the leg side if the delivery's right. That's the much safer approach at this point. We've already got a boundary off the over, so let's just get another single. And then there's only two balls for the new batsman to face. Hopefully he'll be able to stay in for them. We're going to face the right arm spinner again, and he's got an easy shot down to mid off for a single. Mid on sorry is the one we're going for and we managed to get one there with the first ball of the over. He's seen out the rest of the over then Doherty. Four more runs have been added and we're back onto the left arm bowler and we've gone down to mid on as well. We've completely hacked it away though and he's gone straight to the man in the inner circle. He's managed to cut off the run and it's going to be a dot ball to start. There's plenty of space on that leg side, our favourite region for one or two and there's also that gap down to mid on or to third man on the offside. That's the one we've tried to play and we've made an absolute hash of it I think we should probably do that off the back foot to avoid any more calamities we got our foot in a tangle there hopefully it won't happen again this one's more for the leg side though and it's going to be an easy single Doherty will go back on strike and Leeds keep the score rate ticking over 11 and a half overs gone and we're below the current run rate of 44 for 1 we're going to complain now though, another left arm seam has been brought in, just a medium pacer, and they've left us that little space on the leg side, so we can play our favoured little control shots for two, but that one's deflected off our pads again, so it's just going to be a quick single for us. We put Doherty back on strike, and he's returned the favour with the very next ball. Richardson seems to be a part time seamer, just a medium pacer to see a few overs, and if we can get six singles and over off him, just to keep things ticking over. Just below the run rate with 3.85 and over at the moment. We'd expect that earlier on in the innings, particularly with the early wicket, as we flick away a single with the first ball here. Doherty seen out another over well, and we've just got to continue to build our partnership. Final ball of the over again for Richardson. Looks like Doherty's had a bit of fun off this one. Richardson's on 16 now, and we get another single to finish off the over. It looks like we're really going along nicely, and we're almost halfway towards our total. We've reached a third of the way there now at least, so plenty of promising signs with 15 overs gone. The right arm spinners come back in over the wicket. The space is down to mid on again for a single. I hope you can see, even though we're not quite the most flamboyant player yet, we're certainly having a lot less scares. I know we're still a little bit vulnerable to those short balls, but we are improving outside off stump. And I think we look less like getting out some of the time. I say as we'll probably concede our wicket now. Again, we're going to get a quick single on the leg side, and Doherty has to scamper back to avoid the run out. We've played it late, and we're starting to learn that way, just to try and let the 
the ball come onto us and then flick it at the last moment to either side. It gives us a bit more flexibility in our shot too. Second ball of the over and we're hoping for something on our pads. If not, we're not going to be able to score runs. But thankfully he's put that right on the bat and it's going to be a single to put Doherty back on strike. Hopefully he'll fare better against the fast bowler or at least have a little bit less fear than me. Two balls left for Ellis. We're playing nothing expansive at this stage. Plenty of space on the leg side though. A full delivery for an easy single. I know it's our favourite shot in the book and we're not really connecting with it well today but we continue to keep that run rate ticking over and with 17 gone leads are in the 70s. The right arm spinner comes in again. 17 overs gone but we managed to get that one away to the fielder in the deep and it's just another single to start. I'm happy to let Doherty hold the strike at this point as we continue to chase two 213. He's going to be the aggressor at this stage, I think, unless he obviously loses his wicket. Final ball of the over, and we know we're really going to struggle. We've really been struggling to get this man away. That one's a better shot into the gap, but it is just going to be a single as the man in the deep gets around. Two off the over, not the best one, as we continue to eat up deliveries. 19 overs gone, we're 80 for one, and the wrist spinner's back in over the wicket. Can we get some runs off him to continue to build the run rate back up? A single to start, and now it's up to Doherty. Hopefully he'll be able to get a couple of boundaries. There's a quick celebration before that though. The 50 partnership now up. Myself and Doherty building a knock. Normally we don't get to enjoy moments like that as our partners tend to fall like skittles. Doherty moves into the 40s now though. He obviously obliged by getting some boundaries. And Ellis is back in now the fast bowler. A full delivery on the stumps and we get it away for a single. The man at deep mid wicket gets around and Leeds move on to 94 for one. Nearly halfway through the innings now. 20 second over and Randolph continues the spin. This one should be an easy single away. We're almost at the halfway point and we're almost halfway towards the total so we shouldn't need to take too many risks and I don't want to lose our wicket here. Second ball of the over to the fast man and we've really got to try and find a way to get off strike. We ate up four or five deliveries last time. This one's not the most fluent of strokes but a short ball and it's outside off stump. We tried to guide it down to third man and in the end it just dribbled down in front of us but Doherty can get through for a single. He's passed his half century and is doing most of the work for us as we've moved on to 110 as a team a strike rate of five and over this one's closer to the stump so we can get it away and we might have guided it well enough to get two here but i'm not going to take the risk 60 balls face now and mcfarlane the left arm seamers back in they've left a space for extra cover which is a little bit of a tempter but we get a single to the leg side there a pretty decent start to the over again not the most expansive play but there's no need for us to be at this stage we're trying trying to emulate Alistair Cook here and unfortunately it was a no ball and we didn't get to stay on strike for it so we're not going to find out and get the chance. It says free hit but surely it can't be. We've not faced the ball yet so I wouldn't have thought so though it doesn't matter with a shot like that. Threw extra cover for four. It raced away to the boundary off the bat. We couldn't have got that much more out the middle if we tried. What a fantastic traditional shot. Alistair Cook would have been proud of that one. McFarland's continue. Can we find the run scoring shot? There's space down the ground or to the leg side. We obviously opt for the leg side where the choice is there, as it's our favourite shot and it's an easy single. No risk to bring the aggressive Doherty on strike. He's having the innings of his life at the other end, as we bring up our 100 partnership, so there's no need for me in trying to stop him. This isn't about our ego, this is about getting leads over the line. We want to be competing in finals if we don't reach county level this season, and as Doherty moves into the 70s, that's starting to look more likely. We connect with this one pretty well though, straight down to the vacant mid off area. The man in the deep covers gets around but it's going to be two runs easily. A fantastic finish to the over as Leeds move on to 138. Unfortunately Doherty's lost his wicket, Owen Jones joins us in the middle now so we are going to have to be the aggressor a bit more though of course there's still no rush. We've managed to play one of our favoured control shots but we don't place it particularly well so it is just going to be a single off McFarlane and Jones is going to be back on strike. There's space on the leg side from Randolph here as we try and hit a comfortable single. Jones will get himself back on strike as Leeds push past 150. 
I've got to say, I know it's one of our slowest scoring innings, but I've actually really enjoyed it. After a really tough start, we managed to get a little bit more fluent, and we're trying to get our side over the line. We're playing a type of Alistair Cook innings, the sort of one he'd be proud of, and that's what we want to do later in our career, to avoid England collapses at test level, like the one we saw in real life in the first test. If we can be the linchpin of the innings for them, later in our career and prevent that, this is all perfect practice for that moment, as we continue to fight against a good seam attack. This one's out to the leg side for yet another single and Jones can be the aggressor at the other end. Owen Jones saw out the last ball of the over and now we've got Richardson the medium pacer. There's space on the leg side and his delivery suits that so we're just going to edge another single. We're actually moving quite close to our 50 now and one of the benefits in this innings is bar that almost run out at the start and one short ball we flapped at we've not actually looked in trouble at any stage despite getting less boundaries than normal. I have no idea what was going on with the animation at the bottom right there it looked like one of the players heads got stuck in a save symbol i'm not quite sure what's gone on there but we're still in and that's the main thing that's a good shot to the leg side we might get a boundary there you know we beat the fielder to the boundary our four four of the match it's been a long old slog and we've not had many boundaries or many twos either to help us along but we finally move on to 48 just two away from that half century what an innings this could be if we finish not out and we're making sure we leave those ones out side off stump there's no need for us to lose our wicket now Leeds edging closer to that total as we go down the ground to deep mid on that's going to be an easy single and we now move on to the dreaded 49 no need to take the risk we just want to stay in that one we swipe at early it's a slower delivery and it nearly clashes with off stump thankfully we just about survive again we're really getting nervy on 49 we're gonna have to use our offensive shot this one's a better ball for us though and we can edge it to the leg side for a single and in fact it's going to be a comfortable two in the end as we retain the strike and get a half century what a slog that's been one of the most brutal innings we've had to face one of the worst strike rates we've had in a short form game a strike rate of 63 to get to 51 but we're leading leads closer to this target and it looks like we're going to be able to stay not out 36.4 overs gone we've got O'Keefe at the crease alongside us I've got to look at the scorecard because we've lost two wickets here Fletcher Leonard got out for five after Jones got himself out for 37 Richardson bowled him Jameson then got Robson earlier in this over, a bowler I don't think we faced yet, Oscar O'Keefe got off strike with a first ball and we're now facing the last two, we need 19 off 80 balls so no risks need to be taken and we're just going to get our favourite single to the leg side or is that going to beat him to the boundary, it's not it's just going to be one and he's throwing back to the non-striker's end, we get one closer to our total, needs 195 for four. O'Keefe sees off the last ball, so the required run rate is just above one, but we continue to face Richardson, maybe he's not a part-timer after all. We're just playing comfortable singles for now, no risk needed, we just need 18 singles, and out of the last 78 balls, I fancy the two of us to get them. O'Keefe's managed to add five runs, and we're now back to face Richardson's penultimate ball. There's space on the leg side and down the ground, our favourite two areas anyway, so we go down to deep mid on, and it's another single to leave just 11 remaining. Leeds move on to 202 and it looks like we're going to win comfortably. If we can finish not out it will shoot our average up and hopefully that will lead to county selection. We're getting ever closer anyway so shooting our average up this quickly would certainly be able to help with that. Jameson's charging in outside off stump. We go down the ground again. I think the man at deep mid on will get around but we should get back quite comfortably for two. O'Keefe gets back down to the non-striker's end and Leeds now need just nine more runs. They're bringing everyone in now, making it very difficult to score. We just need to go to the man down at deep point, and we cover our stumps and go nicely there. That's just gone for a single, but with eight more remaining, O'Keefe's back on strike. Hopefully he'll be able to produce some fireworks. We're just there to be the anchor of the innings, and it looks like O'Keefe's got the same idea. He's just played a single, and Jameson's back in. He's absolutely knackered the left-arm seamer. Again, we go down to that region at point. Again, we expose our stumps a little, but it makes it look a little bit easier as we get it away quite comfortably just four remaining now as Richardson starts his seventh and again it's the same field with space down the ground hopefully we can go with a boundary to finish a short ball that we nearly play at we don't want to lose our wicket with four runs needed let's just make sure we stay in and keep it simple how many more stupid shots could we play we're starting to show a little sign of fatigue now 
Third ball of the over for Richardson. It's not been a good start for us so far. We go down the ground to the slower ball there, and I think that's the best idea in truth. Bring O'Keefe back on strike, let him get the glory, and we'll just stand at the non-striker's end. He's charging in again for his third ball of the over. Can we get a ball out to point, or can we at least flick one like that to the leg side to get ourselves back off strike? I know in the last 20 or 30 runs, almost all of our scoring shots have been the same, but this is what happens when I panic towards the end, and hopefully O'Keefe's got us over the line. He has, we win by six wickets. Thank you, Oscar O'Keefe. I owe you that because I wasn't going to finish it myself. We were really getting nervy towards the end. One of our slowest and most agonising knocks. We really had to be defensive in that one. And we had to produce a wall against that seam attack early on to make sure we kept our wickets in-house. So often we've collapsed when we've got out, so it's important that we stay in like that. That one straight down the ground was my favourite shot of the day. A fantastic four as part of our innings. But we finish not out and our average will go up. And let's go and see how that affects county selection. Quick confirmation then that we did get player of the match. Not a bad day's work for us. Top wicket taker with 3 for 17 and then 60 not out when chasing. A fantastic day all round for us. One of the best matches of our career. Well, this is a slightly different one. Word is starting to get to teams in the JLT Sheffield Shield, the domestic competition in Australia about our performances. Imagine if we got called up there before we got a chance at county level. That would certainly be a bit of a surprise. Let's quickly go and have a look at our selection status to see how it stands at the moment. A fair way off for the county cup on one day as now. The Sheffield Shield still says no chance, so I'm not quite sure why we got that message. And we're now a long way off in the T20 slam, the first time we've got a chance on that board. So fingers crossed it is just a matter of time now. I will go and quickly have a look at those games we played off camera just to see if I can show you a scorecard or two. Here's the three day game I was talking about off camera. 89 in the first innings off 75 balls. Two wickets with the ball as well as we had a seven run lead going into the second innings. And then look what happened that occasion. A duck off 11 balls. We tried to be a bit more conservative and help our partners and in the end we only harmed ourselves. In the second innings we did get a bowl but off 11 overs we conceded 25 without a wicket. Then in the previous T20 game we had a bit of a failure as well. Just 5 runs and 6 off 1 over with the ball. Really not our best day that one as McFarlane got us out again on that occasion. He caused us trouble in the game we just played but he wasn't able to take our wicket this time. But we're starting to look good and we're obviously getting closer to county selection so we'll try and continue our good form and we'll be back in the next episode to show you some more of course. Hopefully it'll be our last club game. If you did enjoy this one though and that fantastic not out innings please do put a thumbs up on the video. I know it probably wasn't our most entertaining and dynamic knock but it really was brutal for us. A test of concentration, staying in for 30 or 40 overs and really trying to help our side to victory. This lead side really struggled without us so we have to make sure we stay in as long as possible. It worked on this occasion and led us to our total so let me know down in the comments what you thought of it. Do you think I need to be a bit more conservative like that just to try and help out our teammates or do we play like an egomaniac and just focus on getting ourselves county selection? Subscribe to the channel for three episodes a week from this Cricket 19 career every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday at midday. As I said at the start a massive thank you to everyone that supported this series and the Ashes Test playthrough we did beforehand. I really have been blown away with it and I can't thank you enough for watching. There's also daily FM19 content from two stories. Firstly a brand new short term challenge which started on the channel on Monday. A massive thank you to everyone who's given that a try and if you haven't please do go back and check it out. We're also continuing our long term story with Torquay United as we try to take them to the top of English and European football and we've got potentially the most important episode of the series so far coming out later today at 4.30pm as we try to win our first major trophy at the club and it could be a springboard to great success. Finally the Snooker 19 content every Friday at 4.30 but a massive thank you for watching this one and your continued support with the series and I hope to see you next time for another important episode as hopefully it will be our last before county selection. <laughs>